I am at a brand new unit that was icing up soon after install. Found another little weird factory booby trap here. So basically it's a two-stage tandem 10-ton carrier. And the cap feeders with the TXV were all frosted up and everything. But what I found here is that the factory booby trapped it by sticking this orange wire on here to the contactor. So right now I'll only have Y1 active. Should be small compressor, fan speed on low, but when you connect this wire that they had attached, the second compressor was always on. So like, what's up with that? So what it is, I'm looking here on the schematic, pin two of comp plug, that's Y1 if you follow it. it comes from a Y1, Y1 goes through the jumper, comes out this trace over here, goes out this, and it's for certain models, certain options. For some reason, someone at the factory tied these two oranges together. So when they did that, it was getting power to a C2, compressor two contactor, anytime that uh, Y1 was active, regardless even of safety. So it was bypassing safeties and everything because Y1 comes down and goes through your safety chain down here. You know, low pressure, high pressure, freeze stat, and then goes out, activates your K1 interlock relay, which is what allows Y2 to pass through it and go out to C2. But this wire should be n not hooked up to anything. That's a female connector, just shouldn't be left open. But with it jumpered over here onto the, uh, it landed on here. It always has 24 volts with Y1, so it was just put it right to C2. Just jumpering them together, pretty interesting. Fine for an interesting little booby trap. So with it unplugged, and on Y1 only, pressures were all returned to normal. No longer had like 30 to 35 degree <laughs> split temperature. Everything's good, let's see here. Job and cap, good. So here we go, so now with the uh, second contactor not hot wired to Y1, we got normal, about 21 degree split temp, normal pressures, suction came back up to 113. It was nose diving down at like 80 before I unplugged the, the uh, compressor. This is on R454B. So, working out pretty good. And now, to test it, that disconnected like it should be if I bring on Y2 now. By the way, the fan speed was one amp. Now the fan speed's shooting way up. Now the second contactor's energized properly through the when it's a C2 coil, which comes out of that other pin I showed you, and there goes that fan. ECM's just roar into life. By the way, these have two-step low ambient switches built in for you, so that multiple speed ECM could be, it's programmed to run at three different speeds based on what the temperature is or the stage. Low ramp stabilized now, 4.8. Doing pretty good. Suction pressure is taking a crap. It was gold a minute ago, so we'll let this go for a second. Split temperature is also crap. Now watch this thing prove me wrong that there's more wrong with it. <laughs> I'll give it a few minutes. So earlier, all those sensing bulb was off for a while and I put it back on. The second stage is working great. And just a second ago, it started pumping down kind of a little bit. TXV wasn't opening back up. Now I just dropped it to first stage again and everything looks great. Good pressures. Got that little over 20 degree split temp. Space has come down to 74. It was 81 earlier, so that's probably why maybe it light. Pushing that valve open. Let me add second stage again. So that'll add to the Siemens, to the controller. Brings on second contactor, speeds the fans up. It's gonna tank. That TXV might be pissed indeed. So far, I haven't found any restrictions after any check valves. I do have to take one more temperature to confirm the last check valve. But look at uh, this is tanking. The suction pressure is tanking. Vapor saturation is 24 degrees, so it will start frosting those feeders. Split temperatures 15 and dropping. So 
77 suction is not recovering. Going back up a little bit now. Switch temperature still crap. Funny, because I had this running after I just connected everything. Let's see, uh, I want to see you stuck on. First stage of no CO2. First stage, second stage cooling. Everything was beautiful, 23 degree split. Pressures were great. Funny man. That is strange. 81, 80s kind of. That TXV ain't wanting the throttle open. I'm stuck about 14 split. I might switch this to heat a few times and see if I maybe I'll lube up that TXV. Might be able to put something like zero ice in there. I used to think that stuff was just pure snake oil, but it actually comes in handy for lubing up that. They do have a pretty mediocre size valve they use on these, and this is a 1010 unit. And that valve, I think they do it pretty mediocre, so we'll have a range for that 50% cooling capacity, you know? And barely feeds enough on you know, second stage. And 82, so I'm gonna continue to drop down to it, but it's still kind of shite.